What if we didn't relieve ourselves on toilets? <sighs> Imagine that we just let all of that waste accumulate around our homes and never let any air in or out. Completely sealed. Just sitting there on the floor and not cycling back through the environment, the awful odor would radiate inside, eventually causing a buildup of just nasty stuff in the air we breathe. What if I told you this was happening to all of us on a massive scale? We're constantly told how much we damage the environment, but it doesn't directly affect us, right? Plot twist, that crap you threw into the landfill is coming back to haunt you. 25 million people have asthma in the United States and the numbers are increasing annually. But why is this happening? Why are multi-race and black children twice as likely to have asthma as white children? Why are adults with a household income under $75,000 more likely to have asthma? Part of the reason is because we are crapping where we live and flinging it into low-income communities. California is a prime example of this. The Sunshine State has the worst air quality in the nation. In lower-income parts of Cali, such as the ports of LA and Long Beach, massive shipments come in every day. Kids living nearby are up to 89% more likely to have asthma than average. And don't even get me started on Flint, Michigan or fracking. We'll save that for another video. But wait, you think pollution just matters outside? Well, why does your house stay so warm when the heat is on? The answer is insulation, a modern day marvel. But a sealed home doesn't just keep heat trapped inside. It also keeps toxins inside. Low income housing units are also more likely to be polluted. The very reason you or I have asthma could be from triggers that we placed into our own environment. Examples being air fresheners, dry cleaning and crap. Asthma charges the United States $56 billion in medical costs, law school and work days, and early deaths. So how do we stop this? What's the minimum amount of pollution that won't harm us? Research has yet to discover an amount of pollution that won't affect our bodies. Awareness helps though. Limit your contact with VOCs such as the ones listed above. One or more of these things may trigger your asthma symptoms. Another thing to be aware of is the Environmental Protection Agency's AQI. It allows you to check how polluted your area is. As always, this video only scratches the surface of available info. I've left links below to help you do your own research. Breathe easy and like and subscribe.